What is up guys? Welcome back to another Instagram tutorial. My name is Steven Womack and first of all I want to thank you so much for 78,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. It absolutely blew my mind. I'm super grateful so thank you so so much and sorry for not posting in the last couple of days. I was super busy trying to recreate that real vintage film look. I'm trying to perfect it and get as close to that real one as possible and you really liked my last post that picture that I took of my girlfriend and I got a lot of requests of you guys in my DM so today I want to show you how to recreate this vintage inspired film look and all you will need is your smartphone and the free Lightroom app I myself uh, created this picture with Photoshop but I found a way how to get really close to this result using your smartphone and as I said that free Lightroom app that most of you already have. Now I've also created a preset on exactly this look. It's on my website. The link is under this video and it's in that all presets pack along with over 80 presets that you can just easily paste to every one of your pictures. It's a huge set of many popular presets. There are a lot of influencer presets, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Dua Lipa, Selena Gomez, and many, many more. So make sure to check it out. And every time there is a new preset, I create something new. It's automatically in that all presets pack. So once you have it already, you will always automatically receive that new preset in your link. So it's a pretty good deal. Make sure to check it out. And if there's anything else that you need from me, any requests that you have, or just questions in general, feel free to DM me on Instagram, at Stephen Womack is my handle, and I'm trying to reply as fast as I can. It's been a lot of DMs lately, so bear with me here, and um, I'm sorry for not replying quickly, but I'm trying to work through all of them and reply to all of you guys. So I've said enough now, let's jump right into this tutorial. The first thing we'll need, of course, is your smartphone, and I want you to open up that free Lightroom app. And in this app now, I want you to open the picture that you have taken. I've taken this, as I said, of my girlfriend. And make sure to really nail this look using a shallow depth of field. So you want to get that background really blurry. If you have a smartphone that has the portrait mode, this comes in really handy. So use that if you have it. If not, maybe make sure that you are far away from the background or really close to a clean wall to just not have a too busy background. Once you've taken this picture and opened in that free Lightroom app, the first thing you want to do is go to the curve on the upper right, and then I want you to recreate this curve as it is right here. So pull up the shadows on the bottom left side, and then just pull down the highlights on the upper right side a little bit, and then in between try to create that soft curve um, leaning towards the bottom right side of the picture. And once you've recreated this curve exactly as it is right here, we are done. And now the next thing you want to do is just in the light setting is just pull down the contrast a little bit to negative 14 in this case. Then the highlights, we want to pull them down to negative 100 all the way. The shadows, we want to boost up to plus 18 right here. The whites, we want to pull down again all the way to negative 100. And the blacks, we want to pull down to negative 60 seven right here. Then we're done with the light. We go over to the color settings. And here I want you to boost the temperature to plus 17 and then boost the tint as well to plus 18. And for the vibrance, we want to boost that up a little bit to plus 25 in this case. And the saturation, you want to pull that down to negative 29 right here. Then we scroll up, hit the color mix on the upper right. And for the red tones, we just want to boost the hue a little bit to plus 36 right here. The saturation, we want to pull down a little to negative 10 and leave the luminance at zero. Go to the orange tones. Here you want to boost the saturation to plus 33 in this case and pull down the luminance a little bit to negative 16. Then we go to the yellow tones. Here we want to pull down the saturation to negative 60, 66 right here. And the green tones, we want to pull down the hue to negative 11 right here. And we want to pull down the saturation as well, all the way to negative 44 right here. We're gonna leave the luminance at zero and go to the aqua tones right there. What you wanna do here is just pull down the saturation all the way to negative 50. 
four right there and leave the blue, purple, and pink tones as they are. Then we're done here. We go over to the effects tab and here I want you to pull down the clarity a little bit to negative 10 to get that even more dreamy look into the picture. And then we want to dehaze. We want to boost that up all the way to plus 40 just to bring back the shadows a little bit, get the picture a little more crispy. And then of course we want to add grain. In this case, all the way to 44 is perfect because that really gives that nice grainy vintage look. And then we scroll up, hit the split toning. And here we just want to get the final colors right. Now for the highlights, we want to pull over to a hue of around 232 right here and a saturation of 20 is perfect so that it's that blue area 232 and a saturation of 20 now for the shadows what you want to do is also pull over to that blue green area to a hue of around 200 and a saturation of in this case 23 works perfectly so it's 201 and 23 and then we just want to boost the balance to the highlights a little bit to plus 25 right there and then we have that final color touch and we are done and that's it guys here's a little before and after and this is how i created this uh, vintage look of my girlfriend's picture and i think it came out really cool i hope you like the results and if you want to add those sparkles i did another tutorial it's that jason Lar inspired sparkle tutorial and there's a free preset to all of the sparkles so the link is under this video as well check that out for sure if you want to add those sparkles to the highlights to for example the earring or the ring on the hand and i've also included those print stripes so it looks even more vintage as if it was scanned or printed out and you can also find a free preset i created a lot of these overlays for you five to be exact that's also linked under this video so make sure to check those out if you want to add those little details to the picture if not we're done here i printed a preset on exactly this look as well link is also under this video in that all presets pack over 80 presets for you to just easily use on every one of your pictures make sure to check it out and if you haven't already also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out on any of my future tutorials and if there's anything that you need from me anything i can do any questions that you have feel free to dm me on instagram or of course you could also always just comment under this video and i'll try to reply as fast as i can now thank you so much for watching i hope you're still healthy safe and I hope I'll see you in the next tutorial. Peace.